When slavery boomed in um, America in the 1800s, almost every white white American had owned slaves, and American author Frederick Douglass was enslaved for for over 20 years. He was enslaved from the time that he was born till he was about 21 years old, and he never knew his mom. He knew his mom, but he never really knew who she was. Um, he wrote on his escapes and his experiences in the horrific and unfair environments and treatments that the slaves were in. He, um, he was just, he wrote on the unfair treatment and how it was, slavery was not a good thing to be in the world. He wrote, um, the desire he had for escaping and why he tried so many times on escaping. Um, he was influenced on writing from his colleague, William Lloyd Garrison. That was a really big part of him wanting to write. And another big part of him wanting to write was that his mother was one of the only literate slaves. So with him knowing that, he really wanted to learn how to read and write because back then, like, slaves did not have the opportunity. But he got sent to Baltimore in about 1820, I think. He got sent to Baltimore, and one of the housewives there um, taught him how to read and how to write. And so, yeah, and he wrote on basically him being a slave and how it's unfair he was um sent to a slave breaker to be trained and to be worked to death because he tried to escape many times and he had a strong spirit and he had an ev evident desire for freedom and you could clearly tell in his writings that he did um but he escaped on september 3rd uh 18 38 I think it was and he used a sailor suit and finally escaped um because he had such an absence childhood it caused him to have like efficient writing and determination because he barely had any communication with his mother and um his mom would sneak out from her plantation and walk like almost 15 miles to just stay with him for a few hours during the night. Um, and like him growing up in that harsh and poor environment, he knew that he just always had that determination in his blood to write and to read. And yeah, so he... Also, he also had learned how to read from one of his master's wives. And when he was a slave, he tried establishing like a school kind of like in there at night. And he would um, try to teach other slaves like basic knowledge and like just so they had a better understanding and stuff. So you can clearly tell that he was very passionate about um, his writing and slaves knowing how to read and write and just know how to talk um but when he escaped when he was living in in the world as a free as a free black man he was very impacted by the way that he was writing from William Lloyd Garrison he Garrison thought that he was like this very good um this very heroic type of person I guess you would say and he had asked him to become an agent for the Massachusetts anti-slavery so uh, society and he then was called to a um, meeting held in that Massachusetts with Garrison and they were colleagues for years and Garrison helped um, Frederick Douglass write the narrative which is his famous famous book and it's basically about like his life in slavery his escapes and stuff like that and it it talks um talks about why why slavery is bad and like why you should not like why it should not be a thing um 
and after he wrote that big hit he wrote other famous books um like my bondage and my freedom which is about i think th those books are only about his um like outside life um and like his sleep like his escapes outside of there and he also challenged like racial segregation segregation which it was very segregated at the time and it wasn't even like segregated like they just people owned people um but living in an inhumane environment um he accomplished many ways of his writing and influenced people to share their stories and influence other slaves to try to learn how to read and write and um these types of writers can only are the only ones that are able to give insight to what they've been through and the harsh experiences and environments that they've been through and that you should not go back in time and it's important that people know um it's, it's important that people know that because then we don't want to keep repeating history so yeah this is why um, american author Frederick Douglass had very good determination in his writings and good influences around.